Welcome back to my channel, Technology in the Future. If you're a Nikon enthusiast, then 2024 is already shaping up to be an exciting year filled with rumors, leaks, and speculation about two upcoming APS-C mirrorless cameras, the Nikon Z80 and the Nikon Z90. These potential game changers have sparked conversations across photography communities, but with so much information circulating, it's essential to dissect what's real and what's speculation. Will Nikon release both models, or are they essentially the same camera with different names? Let's break it down and explore what these upcoming cameras could offer. The Nikon Z80 has been gaining significant attention, especially among photographers who value a balance of portability and high performance. If recent leaks are accurate, the Z80 could be positioned as an advanced APS-C mirrorless camera designed to cater to photography enthusiasts and content creators alike. At the core of the Z80, rumors suggest a powerful 32-megapixel APS-C sensor, delivering a notable jump in resolution from the Nikon Z50. This sensor upgrade, combined with Nikon's cutting-edge X7 image processor, promises enhanced image quality, faster processing speeds, and overall improved performance. The X7 processor is already used in some of Nikon's top-tier full-frame cameras, indicating that the Z80 might outperform its competitors in the APS-C segment. A standout feature expected in the Nikon Z80 is its hybrid in-body image stabilization, IBIS, a significant improvement over its predecessor. If Nikon incorporates IBIS into this camera, it will offer greater stability, making it an ideal choice for handheld photography and low-light shooting. This feature would make it a versatile tool for content creators, vloggers, and photographers seeking steady shots without requiring a tripod. Additionally, rumors suggest that the Z80 will support 4K UHD recording at 60 frames per second and Full HD at 120 frames per second, making it an excellent choice for hybrid shooters looking to capture high-quality video alongside stunning still photography. However, with all these high-end features, speculation is growing about the Z80's price. If Nikon aims to position it as a premium APS-C model, it could come with a steeper price tag, potentially making it less appealing to entry-level users. Another potential concern is heat dissipation. Given the compact size of mirrorless cameras, prolonged video recording sessions could introduce thermal management challenges. While Nikon may implement cooling solutions, users should keep this aspect in mind when considering the Z80 for long-form video recording. Now, let's shift our focus to the Nikon Z90, a camera that could steal the spotlight if the rumors prove accurate. The Z90 is expected to be the spiritual successor to the legendary Nikon D500, a DSLR that set new benchmarks for speed, durability, and image quality in the APS-C segment. If Nikon transitions this iconic lineup into the mirrorless era, the Z90 could become a powerhouse for professional and enthusiast photographers alike. Early leaks indicate that the Z90 may feature a 33-megapixel APS-C sensor, giving it a slight edge in resolution over the Z80. This bump in megapixels could be particularly appealing to photographers who require extra detail in their shots, such as landscape and commercial shooters. Additionally, like the Z80, the Z90 is rumored to utilize the X7 image processor, ensuring fast performance, superior color science, and refined image processing. Where the Z90 truly stands out, however, is in its rumored shooting speed. With reports suggesting a continuous shooting speed of 20 frames per second and a buffer capable of handling up to 1,000 raw images, this camera could be a dream come true for action photographers. Whether you're capturing wildlife, sports, or any fast-moving subject, the Z90 might be Nikon's most capable APS-C mirrorless camera yet. Moreover, its advanced autofocus system, rumored to feature 600 phase detect focus points, could provide lightning-fast tracking and precision, making it a top-tier option for professionals who demand speed and accuracy. Like the Z80, the Z90 is expected to include IBIS, but may also introduce an advanced hybrid stabilization system. If true, this would provide even better performance for handheld shooting and videography in challenging conditions. On the video front, the Z90 is anticipated to offer 4K 60 frames per second and Full HD 120 frames per second recording, making it an excellent choice for hybrid shooters who want top-tier performance in both photography and video production. So which camera should you be more excited about, the Nikon Z80 or the Nikon Z90? The answer largely depends on your needs as a photographer or videographer. 
If you prioritize a compact, lightweight camera with excellent image quality and solid video capabilities, the Nikon Z80 could be the perfect fit. Its rumored specifications make it an appealing choice for content creators, travel photographers, and those looking to upgrade from the Nikon Z50. On the other hand, if you're a professional or enthusiast who requires a high-speed, performance-driven APS-C mirrorless camera, the Nikon Z90 seems to be the better choice. Its rumored burst shooting capabilities, larger buffer, and advanced autofocus system could make it an invaluable tool for action and wildlife photographers. With the potential to be a true successor to the Nikon D500, the Z90 might set new standards in the APS-C mirrorless segment. In conclusion, both the Nikon Z80 and Z90 have the potential to be groundbreaking additions to Nikon's mirrorless lineup. While Nikon has yet to make an official announcement, the rumors surrounding these cameras suggest that 2024 and beyond could be an exciting time for Nikon fans. Whether you're an enthusiast looking for a feature-packed APS-C mirrorless camera or a professional seeking high-speed performance, there's a lot to be excited about. As always, stay tuned for more updates, and don't forget to subscribe to Technology in the Future for the latest news, leaks, and in-depth reviews on upcoming cameras and tech innovations. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.